back. Look at this. Check that out. What do you think of that? Hey. Woohoo! Been waiting for these for a while. Do with a twirl. Oh, oh yeah, quick twirl. There you go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Full turn. All the way around. Floor needs some work. Uh, right, so welcome back to the short cook. Wearing the shorts as always, just under six foot. Beautiful day outside. Uh, today we're going to do a kind of Mexican ish. I don't know if it's burritos or enchiladas or whatever it is. Basically, it's wraps and then we we'll cover it in tomato sauce, put some cheese on, stick it in the oven, job done. So, dedication today. Thanks to Clyde for sorting out the t shirts and also doing the camera work. Um, not as much as he used to, because he's had to go back to the day job. He's uh, doing some filming uh, with Bear Grylls. And uh, they're doing something about hunting bricks or something like that. Hunt, I don't know. You'll have to check it out. Uh, should we sing happy birthday? Yeah. All right. Did I say we sing happy birthday too? It's a little fella who I know, all right? And I think he's 17 today. And it's Declan Devaney. Declan Devaney. Right. So... Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Declan, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, wash the big spoon with the duck on, Declan, happy birthday to you. Job done. Right. So, ingredients wise, <clears throat> we have done all of these ingredients before. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do an assembly job. All right, so let's have a look. Forget about the cheese for a minute. We have made these flatbreads, fantastic flatbreads, nice uh, wholemeal flatbreads, because that's all the flour that I had. I made a tomato sauce with uh, oregano and basil in it. I've made roasted vegetables. Remember we did that for lasagna with some Moroccan spice in there. Begins with M, closest thing I had to Mexican. Put that away now, that job's done. Uh, what else we got? We're going to finish the dish off with some parsley because Auntie Sandra doesn't like coriander and neither does she like hot chilies either. I don't know how hot they are, they just come out of the supermarket. Uh, that's the pizza sauce that previously we've made before. And lastly but not leastly, this is the steak. Remember we cooked steak on the barbecue once before, you need it nice and rare. Bit of steak seasoning on it, job done. So, the assembly, here we go. What we need is a wrap or a flatbread. And we're gonna put a couple of bits of steak in there, just like that. We're gonna go across here, and we're gonna put a little bit of mixed roasted vegetables in there, just like that. Not too much. And then what we're gonna do is, saw this on Rick Stein the other night, you like this. All right, so the way you do these is, you fold them together like that, and then you turn it over on the corner. How about that? Eh? Woo! And into that uh, dish, because we managed to break the other dish that we had, the nice dish. So uh, we'll uh, we'll do another one. There we go. So a couple of bits of steak in. Speed the process up. Tomato, onion, bit of that in like that. Together. Bend and in. And then we'll do one more into this dish. We've got two dishes there that we're going to do. Might have to squeeze some more in as well, otherwise we're going to do a bit of veggie in, just like that. Together, give it a bit of a bend. And in we go again, just like that. I'll tell you what I might do, I might do two halves to go in the end, yeah? So if I just, uh, if I tear one in half, just like that, just like that. And then find a couple of short bits. It's gonna stick out the end a little bit, but uh, hey, that's the way it is. There's a little short bit. And a bit of fresh roasted veg there. Just like that. Maybe a bit much there. Bring it together. Over. And pop it in the end. Well, that worked all right, Clive. Yeah, unrehearsed as usual. And one more, that's a bit long. That one's a shorty, there we are. a bit of a shorty in there, shorty there as well, roasted veg, not too much, bring them together, bend them over and into there like that. Then what we do is we get some of our marvellous, can't see from there can you Clive, can you see that now? Mm -hmm. 
All right, we get some of our marvelously tasty tomato sauce. All this is, is as we've done before, onions, garlic, uh, tomato puree, and uh, a can of chopped tomatoes. That's it, that's all we're doing. All right, so just gonna spread that out over the top there, just like that, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is, we are going to sprinkle some fine and dandy cheese on here. This is just cheddar, I say just cheddar, marvelous cheese. But you can use virtually anything. I've used mozzarella before and manchego, which is the Spanish cheese. Just over like that, a little bit more. And then what we're gonna do with that Clive is we're gonna put this marvelous creation into the oven. The cheese is gonna melt. It's all gonna get warmed up again. And then we'll be back in about, I would have thought 20 minutes, gas mark five and we'll try and serve it up. I can't imagine it's gonna look good when we serve it up, but boy, I've had this before and it tastes good. All right, so. Uh, welcome see. back for the third time, because throughout this whole series of doing the short cook, wearing the shorts, we have not, back up, we have not done any retakes whatsoever, and we should have done probably, because of some of the bloopers that I've done. But right now, what just happened was, Clive went, no, no, it's not good enough. Not good, it's not good enough. Mind you, I suppose he has left, or partially left, the Short Cook channel to move over to uh, Shooting with Bear Grylls. So maybe we're just not good enough anymore. I don't know. Anyway, enough about me. Look, how good does that look? Good, eh? Looks good now. Wait until I do this to it and see what a dog's dinner I can turn it into. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, ah. This is very hot. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's go in this way. Let's go in. Let's go in. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Oh, we might be in. Oh, not too bad. Let's see if we can get one out of this end as well. I think I rushed it a bit there. Oh. Why is it always a fight to get these things out? Oh, that's not looking so good now. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. oh, that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Um, I need an adult to move that. Put it out of the way. Right. So finishing it off. This one's not for Auntie Sandra because we're gonna we're gonna put the special coriander on. Did a special coriander. Grew that in the garden. For some reason, the leaves have gone sort of purple as well as green. I've got no idea. Normally, coriander would grow in uh, probably South America and Asia. <coughs> So I'm not entirely sure that it likes the frost that we've been having lately. And some nice green fresh, fresh chilies on the top there as well. Just a couple more, there we go. Right, do we need a wipe around the side? I'm not sure. So I'm not even sure what that's called. Whether it's uh, enchiladas, burritos, uh, quesadillas. Uh, basically it's some roasted vegetables, excuse me, <coughs> some steak. Um, wrapped up in a nice wholemeal flat, flatbread, tomato sauce, cheese in the oven, job done. So that's a short out from the short cook. Thank you very much. Please stay safe. Subscribe to the channel if you'd be so kind as to do so. Short cook. Merch available. Is merch available, Clive? No, not yet. Not yet. We'll get back to that. Okay. Um, and we'll see you the next time we film in. Remember, we're not filming as much now because uh, we've been deserted by Clive. Uh, see you again, thank you, enjoy.